I shared a story about why we created myc4.com as a platform to fund entrepreneurs in Africa. And why did you create it? We created it because uh, there's an opportunity for them to grow their business. And to do that, they need some risk capital, they need a loan. And uh, then they can do what they have their mission on and repay the, the lenders uh, the money again and start doing it once more and build the credit worthiness at the same time. And how did you manage to, 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 to start such, such a product from, uh, from Denmark in Africa? So my history is I worked with Africa the last 30 years and I lived in Africa and I had this idea that how could I bring the business of Africa to everybody in the world instead of that it's always the charity of Africa. So why, how could I demonstrate the business opportunity? And the best analogy was that what eBay does to the flea market, we wanted to do to the financial market. And when did you start? We started in, uh, the company is founded in 2006 and the platform was launched in October 2007, so seven years back. And can you tell me something about the process from the idea till the launch? From the idea to the launch, we spent a lot of time on designing it. Uh, there was not a lot of crowdfunding uh, sites when we start, uh, started this in 2005, 6 and 7. So we more or less had to build it in iteration from scratch. We did a lot of mistakes because we had not a perfect technology. So we had a lot of spreadsheets and we found out that in the financial service fintech sector, you need to have real time knowledge, real time data. So uh, after two, three years, we got the model right. And what were your most uh, important uh, lessons? Three lessons, I would say the technology being imperfect, so we didn't have the controls and the dashboards. The partners also being Greenfield, which were our gatekeepers to the entrepreneurs, and me and the team being also Greenfield. So these three things together was a big challenge. And when uh, a, a, a entrepreneur uh, in, 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 in Africa wants to, wants to start a, a project, so what is the process? So what a, an entrepreneur would do if they want to start a project, they will contact one of our MFI, microfinance institution partners, who will find out which kind of product fits them. Is it uh, an acro loan? Is it a consumer business? What, what is it they need the loan for? They will then assess them and if they qualify and they agree to it, they will be uploaded on myc4.com and you and I from the whole world can then go in and fund them for free. We don't pay myc4, everybody is paid by the entrepreneur. Okay, and, and, and how many investors do you have in one project in, in average? Yes. So an average loan is about uh, 1,000 euros, which is lent out in local uh, currencies and Kenyan shillings. And there's about 50 lenders, investors on each of the loans for the single entrepreneur. And, and what way do you, uh, do you see that's the, the, the project owner uh, that you can trust him or her? So one way of building the trust is that they, they are online, so they've given their consent form to this. Secondly is that the microfinance institution which are assessing them also have put some money in the game. So we demand a risk guarantee for them that they also do a truly diligence on the entrepreneur. And then, you know, it's performance over time, so we need to build the trust on the platform as well. And you also know uh, uh, with what motivation people do invest in yes. projects. So in principle, we have three kinds of different investors on MyC4. We have one which is a social motivated, so you get a loan which is for a woman uh, who needs to buy a solar lamp. And uh, the social motivated investor will not demand a lot of interest and will do it in principle for free. Then we have the other kind of investor, which is highly return on investment motivated, who will demand a lot of information, and if the payment gets delayed, will get upset about it as well, and they will bid with an interest on this. And then we have those which are something in between. They do both. So there's kind of three different kind of investors yeah. on the platform. But if you look from, from the other side, it's also a, 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 a kind of a charity 2.0, that people are really investing in, 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 in projects and not in organization. Is it also some, a, 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 a thought that, uh, that you share? So I think from the investor's point of view, you can decide to make a return. The, the net return on MyC4 on the last 12 months was 2%. So the investors in average are making two, which means that some of the social which are lending their money out for free are losing capital, where those which are for profit is making more than 2%. Yeah. And uh, uh, when you look at, at uh, the future of, 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 of the platform, uh, what steps uh, are planned in, in, in the near future? I think the, 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 what we see today on, on MyC4 and other crowdfunding sites is that there's a lot of new solutions we need to be built into this. From our side, uh, the, the accessibility of the borrower, the entrepreneur, is very expensive. So if they don't want to pay, that's the entrepreneur. 
So one way of doing that could be using solutions like has been uh, developed in Indonesia called Lendo, L-E-N-D-D-O, mm -hmm. where the entrepreneur allows Lendo, joins Lendo and gets a creditworthiness out of your social footprint, your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn and so on. Things you don't just change. So it gives something about who you are as an entrepreneur. So that's one part of the channel I think can change. The other part is that the moment where you anywhere in the world with your mobile phone can decide that your evil money could play into something of your interests, mm -hmm. then that could be a very way, good way of using MyC4 as kind of a, a platform to do that, yeah. or whatever it would be called. And when looking at your own business model, uh, uh, how, how, how does it, that look like? So, so when you look at MyC4's business model, we are paid by the entrepreneur who pays us an average of about 5% on, on the repayments of the interest on the loan they get. We are nearly uh, sustainable, but it's taking a lot of time. Mm -hmm. We have invested in equity in myc4.com more than 10 million euro over the last seven years. And did you also crowdfund for your own uh, platform? Well, we should consider that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I think it's good a good point. idea. Yes. Okay, great. Thank uh, you. Thank you, great story and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. a good day.